SAX is an event sequential access parser API developed by the XML DEV mailing list for XML documents. SAX provides a mechanism for reading data from an XML document that is an alternative to that provided by the document object model. Where the DOM operates on the document as a whole, SAX parsers operate on each piece of the XML document sequentially. Definition Unlike DOM, there is no formal specification for SAX. The Java implementation of SAX is considered to be normative. SAX processes documents state independently, in contrast to DOM which is used for state-dependent processing of XML documents. Benefits SAX parsers have some benefits over DOM-style parsers. A SAX parser only needs to report each parsing event as it happens, and normally discards almost all of that information once reported. Thus, the minimum memory required for a SAX parser is proportional to the maximum depth of the XML file and the maximum data involved in a single XML event. This much memory is usually considered negligible. A DOM parser, in contrast, typically builds a tree representation of the entire document in memory to begin with, thus using memory that increases with the entire document length. This takes considerable time and space for large documents. The compensating advantage, of course, is that once loaded any part of the document can be accessed in any order. Because of the event-driven nature of SAX, processing documents is generally far faster than DOM-style parsers, so long as the processing can be done in a start-to-end pass. Many tasks, such as indexing, conversion to other formats, very simple formatting, and the like, can be done that way. Other tasks, such as sorting, rearranging sections, getting from a link to its target, looking up information on one element to help process a later one, and the like, require accessing the document structure in complex orders and will be much faster with DOM than with multiple SAX passes. Some implementations do not neatly fit either category, a DOM approach can keep its persistent data on disk, cleverly organized for speed. While a SAX approach can cleverly cache information for later use, such implementations blur the DOM SAX trade offs, but are often very effective in practice. Due to the nature of DOM, streamed reading from disk requires techniques such as lazy evaluation, caches, virtual memory, persistent data structures, or other techniques. Processing XML documents larger than main memory is sometimes thought impossible because some DOM parses do not allow it. However, it is no less possible than sorting a data set larger than main memory using disk spaces memory to sidestep this limitation. Drawbacks The event-driven model of SAX is useful for XML parsing, but it does have certain drawbacks. Virtually any kind of XML validation requires access to the document in full. The most trivial example is that an attribute declared in the DTD to be of type IDREF requires that there be an element in the document that uses the same value for an ID attribute. To validate this in a SAX parser, one must keep track of all ID attributes, as well as every IDREF attribute until it is resolved. Similarly, to validate that each element has an acceptable sequence of child elements, information about what child elements have been seen for each parent, must be kept until the parent closes. Additionally, some kinds of XML processing simply require having access to the entire document. XSLT and XPATH, for example, need to be able to access any node at any time in the past XML tree. Editors and browsers likewise need to be able to display, modify, and perhaps revalidate at any time. While a SAX parser may well be used to construct such a tree initially, SAX provides no help for such processing as a whole. XML processing with SAX, a parser that implements SAX functions as a stream parser, with an event-driven API. The user defines a number of callback methods that will be called when events occur during parsing. The SAX events include, XML text nodes, XML element starts and ends, XML processing instructions, XML comments. Some events correspond to XML objects that are easily returned all at once such as comments. However, XML elements can contain many other XML objects, and so SAX represents them as does XML itself, by one event at the beginning, and another at the end. Properly speaking, 
the SAX interface does not deal in elements, but in events that largely correspond to tags. SAX parsing is unidirectional. Previously parsed data cannot be reread without starting the parsing operation again. There are many SAX-like implementations in existence. In practice, details vary, but the overall model is the same. For example, XML attributes are typically provided as name and value arguments passed to element events, but can also be provided as separate events, or via a hash or similar collection of all the attributes. For another, some implementations provide init and fin callbacks for the very start and end of parsing. Others don't. The exact names for given event types also vary slightly between implementations. Example, given the following XML document. This XML document, when passed through a SAX parser, will generate a sequence of events like the following, XML element start, named document element, with an attribute param equal to value, XML element start, named first element, XML text node, with data equal to and xb6. Some text, XML element end, named first element, processing instruction event, with the target sum pi and data sum attr equal sum value, XML element start, named second element, with an attribute param 2 equal to something, XML text node, with data equal to pretext, XML element start, named inline, XML text node, with data equal to inline text, XML element end, named inline, XML text node, with data equal to post text. XML element end, named second element, XML element end, named document element. Note that the first line of the sample above is the XML declaration and not a processing instruction. As such it will not be reported as a processing instruction event. The result above may vary. The SAC specification deliberately states that a given section of text may be reported as multiple sequential text events. Many parsers, for example, return separate text events for numeric character references. Thus in the example above, a SAC parser may generate a different series of events, part of which might include XML element start, name first element, XML text node, with data equal to and XB6. XML text node, with data equal to some text, XML element end, named first element, see also, document object model, expat, Java API for XML processing, libxml, list of XML markup languages, list of XML schemas, msxml, stx, streaming XML, vtdxml, xerces, xqeoy API for Java, xslt, Further reading, David Brownell, SAX2, O'Reilly, ISBN 0-596-00237-8, W. Scott Means, Michael A. Body, The Book of Sacks, No Starch Press, ISBN 1-886411-77-8, References External links, Sacks Homepage, Sacks at Café Comlec, Top 10 SAX2 Tips See SACS in action with a JavaScript API, SACS parser in Python, SACS and parser in Java.